PCB Maker Software by NewRad lets you design your own PCBs and then generate G-code for making PCBs at home with a CNC machine quickly and easily with much lower noise levels and much faster job times using a technique called scratch milling. Up to 4,000 millimeters per minute, 1,800 recommended. A free version is available that allows you to create iron-on toner transfer sheets and solder masks. No email address required. PCB Maker is easy to use and it is also a lot of fun to use because of the amazing graphics. One-click generation of traces. One-click generation of G-code. Zero mental energy needed. And the G-code is perfect every time. See the G-code run in 3D Viewer. PCB Maker generates G-code for scratch milling PCBs using a scribe bit that runs with very high speed rates, but with lower spindle speeds for much less noise. It can also generate G-code for V-bits if your CNC is not strong enough for scratch milling. PCB Maker generates G-code files for immediate use with a CNC machine. Professional PCB design softwares only generate Gerber files made for sending to a PCB manufacturer in China. Electronic hobbyists need G-code files, not Gerber files. They want to make a PCB at home using a CNC machine in 20 minutes, not two weeks. Until now, if an electronics hobbyist wanted to make a PCB at home with a CNC machine, they have to convert all of their Gerber files to G-code files for each of the various operations of milling and drilling holes for all the needed hole sizes. It is tedious, time-consuming, and takes a lot of mental energy. Plus, they have to move the generated files to different locations on their PC's hard drive. It's a long, convoluted, and horrible process that is prone to error. PCB Maker solves all of these problems by directly generating the G-code from the PCD drawing. Plus, the G-code it generates is superior and is made for scratch milling at high feed rate speeds with acceleration management and extra G-code tricks like continuing around the last corner of a trace to help clear copper debris from the tracks. Flatcam and other Gerber to G-code converter softwares do not do any of these things. PCB Maker was originally designed for V-bit milling, which we hated because of the noise and because it took forever to mill a PCB. Then we learned about scratch milling, and so we redesigned the software to add scratch milling to PCB Maker's built-in G-code generator. Scratch milling was first introduced on YouTube by Robin De Brule. He said that with using a scribe bit, you can scratch mill PCBs at the fastest speed that your CNC machine can handle. We said, wow. And then he said, you can do it with the spindle off. And we yelled, wow. Because it was the noise of the spindle combined with how long it takes to mill a PCB using a V-bit that was making the entire process not worth it. So we tried Robin's scratch milling technique. After much experimentation, we decided that the spindle does need to be on to help clear the chips, but the spindle could run at lower speeds than what is required for V-bit milling. The end results are fantastic. Lower spindle noise, but with high speed feed rates. It is a game changer. It does require a CNC software controller with auto level, like new RAD CNC, which works seamlessly with PCB Maker, making it easier to use. The G-Code Generator Settings screen allows you to adjust almost any setting, including multipass, for tuning the G-Code that works best for your particular CNC machine. For the most reliable results, we found that a second pass is not a bad idea to help ensure that there is no copper debris left in the tracks. But since the feed rate is so high, it still does not take that long. PCB Maker is easy to use, and it is also a lot of fun to use because of the amazing graphics. PCB Maker has by far the most realistic component graphics of all the competition. It includes all your favorite processor boards like Arduino. It includes all common components like IC chips, transistors, resistors, capacitors, diodes, LEDs, inductors, potentiometers, switches, pin headers, screw connectors, relays, etc. Plus all the common and currently available modules for sensors, input devices, output devices, radios, memory, LED displays, audio amplifiers, motor drivers, cameras, etc. If a component is not included, then you can add it to the system or just use a similar part or simply use drill holes to represent the component. To add a new component not included in the software, simply copy an image of the component to the appropriate component images directory, resize it to match the standard drill hole matrix, and then add drill holes. And now your new component is listed in the components panel, just as if it came with the software.
For users needing two-sided PCBs for more complex designs, we have a much easier solution, and that is to use a second PCB that connects to the first PCB using pin headers similar to an Arduino shield. When designing a second layer PCB, PCB Maker will display the first layer faded so that you can easily line up the second layer with the first layer while easily discerning which layer is which. PCB Maker has programmable quick search buttons, which allow you to look up a data sheet, pin out, schematic, video, or price for the currently selected component with just one click. PCB Maker will open up your default browser to the desired search link. This is a very handy feature to have, especially for pinouts. You can program the links for each of the quick search buttons in the reference menu using component underscore name as the variable to represent the component name in the search. PCB Maker includes a very extensive set of tooltips that let you hover over a button and get detailed help for exactly what the button does. This makes it easy to learn the software as you go while creating your first PCB drawing. PCB Maker has a revert PCB drawing feature in the tools menu that will allow you to revert the current PCB drawing to a previous one. This is a very important feature to have for this type of software application in case you want to cancel changes to a circuit, but you already have saved the changes. It could also allow you to recover a PCB drawing after accidentally overwriting the file with a different drawing. This revert feature can be a lifesaver. In the Tools menu, there is a Make Transistor screen for quickly and easily adding your own transistors to the software. There is also a Make IC Chip screen for easily adding your own IC chips to the software. You can also generate a parts list of all the components in the PCB drawing and their qualities, which can be handy when ordering parts. PCB Maker allows you to add notes for a PCB drawing, where you can document things like part substitutions, explanations, connector pins, or anything else. You can also add Arduino code for a PCB drawing, so others can duplicate your project and run your code. PCB Maker includes project files, which are zip files that contain the PCB drawing itself, a pic of the PCB drawing, plus any notes or Arduino code for the PCB drawing. The project files are stored in the library directory and can be easily unzipped for usage, with each of the different types of files going to their respective subdirectories. These project files make it easy to share all files for a PCB drawing project. You can make a project file of a PCB drawing by simply clicking the Add to Library button on the PCB Files panel. PCB Maker lets you scale toner transfers and solder masks to match the PCB exactly. In case there is a small but cumulative error in the X or Y steps per millimeter in your CNC machine, or if the laser printer is not perfectly accurate on the Y axis, the ability to scale what you print is absolutely necessary and is included in the software. How to use PCB Maker software. To get started using PCB Maker, the main thing you need to know is that you must first select the object and then move it. Breaking this into two steps helps keep the software fast and responsive. To select an object, click in the upper left hand corner of that object. When drawing lines, usually you're drawing a line from a drill hole on one component to a drill hole in another component. The line is terminated when clicking on the drill hole. To terminate a line where there is no drill hole, right-click off the line, and the software will stop drawing the line and add a drill hole at that endpoint. If you did not want the drill hole to be added, just hit the Undo button, and it will be deleted. To select multiple objects, mouse down in the upper left corner and drag the mouse to the lower right corner of the area you want to select, and then let up on the mouse, just as you did with any software. To add a component to your PCB drawing, say in Arduino Nano, Click on the Components button on the right, then click on Processor Board. Select Arduino Nano. Then click on the PCB drawing area to set that component where you want it. Click in the upper left of the Nano to select it. Now just move it where you want. You can rotate it with the Rotate button at the top in the middle. Now click the left green arrow in the Components panel to move back up one level in the Components tree. Now click Resistors. Scroll down to where it says 1000 for 1K resistor. Place the resistor where you want. Remember to click the left green arrow in the Components panel to move back up one level in the Components tree. For more information, please visit newrad.com. 
We think PCB Maker is the perfect software for electronic hobbyists who want to make a PCB at home, quickly and easily. In that moment, with or without a CNC machine, and without waiting two weeks. Plus, it's a lot of fun to use because of the amazing graphics. You can download PCB Maker at newrad.com.